uh, if you want, you can just select stationary. Uh, you don't yeah, need to yeah, do yeah. much at all for this. It's just uh, yeah. teleportation. Awesome. Cool. I like games where I can play Steve. Me too. Me too. Yeah. I think it's like, well, I'll just be our headset. It's like, you kind of want to relax. Yeah. <laughs> I hear that. It's a bit of 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 the Lego game, you know how you have to smash stuff and, and then rebuild things? Mm -hmm. It's kind of like that. It's kind of cool. At least this part. I don't know if that's what the whole game Somebody just used a, put a burrito into a microwave and killed all the people. Well, yeah. burrito's usually good for you. Uh oh, the burrito has sucked like all the rice out of it. Hey there, let me introduce myself. I am Captain Toonhead, and I am on a mission to save Earth. Save Earth in this VR game! What? What game? And who are you? Anyways, I used to be a janitor, but now I fight the forces of Earth's last dictator, Nicholas Voorhees. He wants to steal all the Ener cubes. Aren't they cute? But not on my watch. To stop Voorhees, I have an amazing arsenal of Toon Rats. There's Lady Jubilee. Sir Frosty to slow enemies down. Sir Frosty! Um, thanks? For area damage, I give you Senor Pignatas. <laughs> Senor Pignatas! And my very own hot sauce heavy metal powered shooter, Queen Dio. Okay, it looks like that weird voice is gone now. I can even make. Queen Dio! Really? Not cool, weird voice. As I was saying, I can even make my Toon Rats stronger in my super high-tech lab. I build Toon Rats using scraps I pick up from defeated enemies. And when Toon Rats are not enough, I use my Brent X blasters to defeat Vorky's punks. The first person shooter element! Okay, yeah, sure. I can take control of my Toon Rats. Never seen before in a tower defense game! Ignoring you. To move around, I can teleport between my Toon Rats. And I can even see everything from above for a more strategic view. Fly like an eagle! Hey, that's my phrase. Why don't you come out where I can see you and- Captain Toonhead versus the punks from outer space. Coming soon to a VR headset near you. We are here with Captain Toonhead and the punks from outer space. From outer space, yeah. I'm uh, sorry, versus the punks from outer space. <laughs> uh, in the game, they didn't get very far. I, I saw the burrito. Unfortunately, it exploded in the microwave. The other thing I really liked, at least in, in that little intro part, was it felt a bit like the Lego game, where you take things apart and then use the things that you broke apart and rebuild, repurpose. Uh, there's power defense elements. Mm -hmm. um, what made you, what is the decide to work in VR? Yeah. I'm always interested in how people approach virtual reality. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, I'll talk about how we got into VR and I'll let Luis explain a little bit more about the game and those fantastic elements that you found. Yeah. Uh, so, we fell in love with the platform and, and it was uh, maybe like six years ago that we met the first audience. Uh, and immediately we said we need to make a game for us. We come from, we have been in the industry for 15 years, one bit, one five. So, uh, so yeah, we fell in love with the platform, we fell in love with the transformative power of you know, the 
merchant in Turbaina. Uh, and it, it should be for it was cool. Right? Before, I mean, it was cool, but there wasn't a market for it. So I think for once we're uh, super lucky to actually be on the right moment, uh, in the right place. Uh, and now it looks like, you know, VR is a thing, the, the, the market is a thing, and we have a game. So it's super lucky, but we, you know, we love VR. And, yeah. What were your earlier prospects? Did you try anything else? Try a couple other options on the you, you, you mean like uh, other games on, on Yes, 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 of course. I mean, we we tried uh, from uh, you know Space uh, Pirate uh, to uh, uh, you know Big Saber early on to uh, uh, you know yeah we, we we did try a bunch of things. But the first time I tried it was actually on a on a game jam in Chile where some kids were making this uh, exploratory game where you were a uh, rat. And for me, like looking at the tables, um, it's really like we're not doing now. It seems like, yeah, of course, you know, it's, it's very immersive and we'll get it. But back then, first time I tried a headset and I saw the world from that perspective and that level of immersion. Was yeah, so the game basically it's a, it's a tower defense which you can play from the front line. Which for us was yeah, a, a challenge that we really enjoy because we need to find a balance okay. between the strategy and, and the action uh, being in there. Like so basically, what we did we incorporate uh, FPS elements to the strategic elements of, of tower defense and create a balance in which you get both, which, as, as you saw, renders in a very hectic and fun experience, right? And you've got like crazy chicken, different characters that. What, what I've always kind of dreaded in virtual reality games is realistic for a first shooter where you're shooting humans and you've got different shooters. So I like that it's just, uh, very cartoony, very lighthearted. Um, I found myself laughing. Really good. Oh, wow. Thank you for saying that. Yeah, for us, it's an homage to all the Saturday cartoons that we loved when we were little. And, and as you said, I mean, in virtual reality, why, I mean, in my opinion, why would you recreate the reality that already exists? I mean, the possibility is endless. So we wanted to have something unique and, 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 and very, uh, uh, that burns in your memory in the sense of that, wow, this is possible. And, and it's basically like a cartoon dream you're in, right? This is our first uh, self-published game. So we self-funded, self-forced the game. We, we're, we're, this is as easy as it gets, right? Uh, and we said, let's not play safe. Let's, let's, let's do something that, uh, first of all, is authentic to us as Latin American developers. So we put it stuff like, you know, our huts, soft tower, and uh, the most powerful weapon is a tank. <laughs> it's a flip flop. Yeah. And of course, it never misses. So that, that's the power of the tank, right? <laughs> this year? This year. So very soon. Very, yeah, very, very soon. soon. Actually, it's, uh, it's already on the Quest store for wishlisting. You can wish the game, <laughs> and uh, you can go now to uh, to the Apple Store and wish the game. Cool. And it's gonna come out very very soon. Any plans for other platforms? VR, Yes. So it's coming both uh, right now. It's coming both for uh, West and PC VR, uh, and a little later uh, for PSVR. Cool. All right. Yes. Well, thank you both for your time. Thank you so much. Thank you for playing. Uh, Looking forward to more adventures with Captain Spearhead in the near future. Absolutely. Thanks for the support. Yeah. Awesome. yeah. I had a lot of fun checking out Captain Toonhead at the TerraVision Games booth at PAX West. And they gave me these awesome little trading cards. So they had three different styles of trading card. They had common cards like this one right here, the mission ship. They had rare cards like this one here, Senor Pignatus. Kind of like a foil embossed card for this one. This one was a turret that you can play with in the game. And then, my favorite, because they referenced it, the flip-flop here as the most powerful weapon in the game. I had a lot of fun, and I'm looking forward to playing Captain Toonhead to its fullest in the near future. They did mention it's coming very soon. I don't know how soon very soon is, uh, but it's definitely very cool um tune in it says in the barcode right here and you can check out 
more information about the game. As I mentioned, you can currently wishlist this game on the Quest. So if you go to Oculus Home, you can go ahead and click on wishlist and follow the progress. Hope you've enjoyed this video. I'll be back with more content. I'm going to probably do a summary of other things that I saw at PAX West in the near future. So stay tuned for that. And until next time, get out there and enjoy some VR for yourself. And thanks for watching. Bye-bye now.